good evening. Uh, it's actually morning here in uh, South Africa. Um, but I think all of you need to get the latest of what happened in Syria overnight. I'll wait a few seconds and I want to give you an update on what happened in Syria in the last, in the last few hours because uh, there's a lot of conflicting uh, reports and information and disinformation. And I think you need to understand that uh, something very, very unusual happened. And, um, and let me also explain what was the reason, what is behind it, what has been attacked, and all of that. So um, just, um, just so you know, guys, first of all, in probably about 1 a.m., um, 2 a.m., excuse me, uh, Damascus time, a large-scale uh, attack in, uh, that combined uh, Israeli jets and surface-to-surface -surface missiles hit um, six different targets. Um, not only the Almeza um, air base, uh, which is the main military air force base uh, of the Syrian air force by Damascus, but we're talking also on the Al Hulhula air base near Sueda, the fourth division in Dimas, Iranian uh, um, outpost in Kalamun, the 10th division in Katana, and uh, Fuj 66 of the first division near Kiswa. Six different places, all of them, all of them are related to the Iranian activity in Syria. I reported, I think a few hours ago, that Israel will not let that happen, and indeed, we did not. However, a lot of you may not know what the behind the scene. Now it's, I don't know if it's clear for publication, but since I see that public, uh, published already in some places, I think it's okay for me to tell you um, that the Israeli intelligence um, detected a very unusual um, activity coming all the way from Iraq into Syria. And last week, the um, Iranian, uh, the Iranian um, defense minister came to visit, um, came to visit um, uh, Syria, and next to his plane came also a large cargo plane. You, he, it was like he said, "Nobody's going to attack me." So while, as I come, I can bring with me some stuff. Now, we knew exactly what he had there in the belly of that big cargo plane. And we knew exactly what is moving all the way from Iraq. And um, we waited for them to unload everything and store it in different places. And as a few hours ago, we destroyed it all. Now, what was it? Ladies and gentlemen, these were North Korean ballistic missiles and North Korean engines to be attached to Iranian missiles. We're talking about engines that will obviously not only accelerate but give that uh, rocket a much larger range than what they have right now. Now, when the Iranians realized that Israel detected and Israel uncovered this whole thing, they started smuggling all of those rockets back to Iraq. So when, when you just heard not long ago that Iranians are actually sending ballistic missiles to Iraq, it's actually the same shipment that was on its way from Iraq to Syria. Once they realized it was uncovered, they sent it immediately back all the way. Folks, this is a very uh, interesting thing. Now, now listen to what happened in the next, you know, following the Israeli strike. Apparently, the 4th Division is, is uh, commanded by General Maher al-Assad, the brother of Bashar al-Assad, and he was badly injured in this attack. Alongside with him were senior Iranian officers who were badly injured. It was so bad that they needed Russian intervention in the suburbs of Damascus, in the wealthy suburbs of Damascus, special forces of Russia, uh, deployed all around the wealthiest suburbs of Damascus and blocked roads, 
tanks were patrolling in the streets and helicopters started carrying, um, I mean, non-stop helicopters movement of carrying all those high-ranking officers, uh, either injured or dead, from the scene of the explosions. So we're talking about a very, very massive, large-scale, most likely Israeli strike. We believe that, um, I believe we used, a, alongside with some, in some targets we used the, our fighter jets, but in, in other places, in order to reduce the danger of Israeli jets hit by Russian um, defense systems, we used actually our latest surface-to-surface -surface missiles called EXTRA. That's the name of that rocket. Um, it's not uh, too long of a range. It's 120 kilometers only. Um, actually, I'll tell you exactly. It's, it's uh, extra is 150 kilometers range, but it has 120 kilogram of uh, explosive uh, warhead on it. So that's very, very, very powerful rocket. So folks, very large scale Israeli strike. Originally, the Syrians thought that with all the talking about American um, targets uh, listing uh, uh, in Syria, they thought America did that. And unconfirmed reports originally were that America strike Syria. But uh, shortly after that, when they realized it's not America, and they were so uh, embarrassed that it was Israel doing that right underneath their nose, came this very lame report from the uh, Syrian Ministry of Defense that there was a, an electric shortage that caused the explosion. Folks, that became the, the joke online of, of, of the day and um, everybody were joking because uh, there is no electric shortage uh, that can cause such damage. Of course, these were rockets, surface-to-surface -surface, surface missiles that Israel launched. The name of the rocket that is believed to have been used is EXTRA, and we use several of those. We have EXTRA, we have LORA, we have ROMACH, but the EXTRA one is 150 kilometers. We don't need more than that, and 120 kilogram of explosive on it. So folks, very busy night in, in Damascus. They just woke up to um, a number of, of targets that were destroyed all around the country. It's not just Damascus. We, we focus on Damascus right now when we report things, but there were altogether six different targets in different places. I spoke about it in my update a few hours ago. We will not allow the Iranian entrenchment, and sure, uh, sure enough, um, it, it happened. And it, just so you know, um, we are talking about um, Israel's response to the blunt a, um, arrival of, 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 of those rockets alongside with the Iranian defense minister last week. So, um, just wanted to put some order in the mess because there's so much that is being reported right now and a lot of disinformation is over there. These are North Korean rockets that Iran received and it landed in some air base in Iraq and from there they started smuggling into Damascus. Israel uncovered this operation. We just destroyed two different things. We destroyed those rockets that we found and the rockets that the defense minister brought with him in that cargo plane and we also are watching what's going on in Iraq because all those rockets are now they turn around and they, they smuggle them back to Iraq when they realize that we know about it. And even in Iraq, there are some operations that are going on right now, which I'm not allowed to uh, talk about, but um, you m most likely will not hear about it at all. Um, this belongs to the people that do things um, in the secret. And so you can't hide anything in Damascus. There's a lot of civilians over there. Uh, but you can hide a lot of other operations that are happening in the desert of western Iraq. So that's what happened, folks. Uh, six different targets all across Syria. The main one is Almeza, uh, Almaze uh, Air Base in Damascus. 
Bashar el-Assad's brother, Maher. He's a general. He's the commander of the 4th Division. He was badly injured. Alongside with him, a lot of Iranian officials and generals were injured, and some of them have been killed. More than 70 people were killed in this strike. All of them were either Iranian or um, belonged to the Iranian uh, program in Syria. And um, we are uh, going to see and wait for Putin's uh, response to all of this because the last thing he needs right now in the eve of the Battle of Idlib uh, and the announcement of victory uh, that he wants so much to, to, to have, um, the last thing he wants is to see all of those type of things happening. We needed to do that right now ahead of the Russian military drill and uh, military maneuver. Uh, while they are busy on the sea, we were busy on the land and we took care of business. So share this uh, video if you can and let everybody know what exactly happened. If there is more things to report on, I will definitely be here to do that. Um, this is Sunday morning in, in Johannesburg. I'm going to speak in two different churches today. One is a morning service and one is an afternoon service. Uh, so I'm not going to be uh, always available, but um, I will keep you updated. Now, I am very active on Twitter. Behold Israel on Twitter. And so um, I can't come on camera all the time, but Twitter is very easy. I tweet. Uh, it takes two seconds. And if you want to stay updated, follow Behold Israel on Twitter and you will be updated uh, regularly. Thank you. God bless you. And Shalom from Johannesburg, South Africa. Bye-bye.